So Tibor, if you could do a slow zoom out from anything about my appearance that you find odd or strange or in any way controversial, <laughs> that would be fantastic. So yes, viewers, as you can see, I now have blonde hair. Ordinarily, I don't do videos about my appearance or updating you on my appearance or focusing on my appearance in any way, shape or form. This is just not that sort of channel, as you know. I try to focus on more intellectual content, quite frankly, but I know what you're like, or at least I like to think I know what my viewers are like. And it would be odd if I were to just immediately start posting videos with a completely different appearance. And what I didn't want is for those videos to be inundated with comments about my hair rather than about the content itself or whatever it is I'm talking about or whoever it is I'm interviewing. So I figured let's do a video where I just let my viewers run amok and just get it all out of their system <laughs> so that you can all comment on it as you wish. And if you're asking why, Lloyd, why? Midlife crisis, um, <laughs> I guess. I'm, I mean, I'm that age, aren't I? Um, for years, I've always kind of been pondering what it would be like to have blonde hair. I haven't really talked about it with anyone, but it's been in the back of my mind, I think, going all the way back to kind of the early days of Eminem. When I was a Jehovah's Witness, I'd be thinking, gosh, imagine what it would be like to just dye your hair blonde and just kind of go crazy. And I wonder whether people would treat you any differently or look at you differently. I wonder what it would be like. And I wasn't able to do that. I wasn't able to make that change as a Jehovah's Witness because as anyone who's been a Jehovah's Witness for any amount of time knows, Jehovah's Witnesses are obsessed with physical appearance and dressing and grooming modestly, quote unquote. Anything that is seen to draw attention to you as a person so that you're trying to be in any way the center of attention is seriously frowned upon. Arguably, women have more latitude when it comes to hair dyeing in particular. And it's not like hair dyeing for men is like some terrible thing. I'm sure lots of Jehovah's Witness men dye their hair, especially after they've gone grey, they might want to dye their hair black or brown or whatever. Um, but certainly this sort of dyeing of hair, um, again, it's not like it's a disfellowshipping offence. It's just that it would cause raised eyebrows. And the raised eyebrows are enough to stop you from doing it because you don't want to stand out as a Jehovah's Witness. You want to be towing the line. You want to be conformist. You want to blend in with everyone else. Same as when you're in any kind of herd mentality setting. Everyone just kind of follows each other and you can't be seen to be the one who is, again, in any way trying to garner attention for yourself. So... For years, it was kind of something that I wanted to do but couldn't. And then obviously, for years, I was in Croatia and left Jehovah's Witnesses. And to be honest, my appearance in general for many years has been very low on, <laughs> on my list of concerns to the point where if I look at older videos, um, especially the very early videos where my hair is just absolutely crazy, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like some kind of Picasso, you know, 
Um, that's where my mind was for, for a long time. Just could not care less what my appearance is. And I used to get comments from people saying, yeah, but aren't you concerned, Lloyd, that your appearance might be detracting from your message? So if people tune into your channel, let's say, believing Jehovah's Witnesses, and they see someone who looks like a hippie, whose hair is all over the shop and has got a big bushy beard, <laughs> are you not concerned that they won't want to listen to what you've got to say? And my answer to that has always been, well, if you're more concerned with what I look like than what I have to say, then I don't really have anything to say to you. <laughs> I just don't care, quite frankly, whether you watch my videos or not. That's not what I'm doing this for. You, you are not my target audience. <laughs> and I think to some extent, you know, all of us who are witnesses have a slightly warped, slightly skewed, slightly twisted idea of what dress and grooming means. Or, or we've had our minds preoccupied with our appearance or other people's appearance for so many years that what other people do with their appearance becomes our business. And... The sorts of comments I used to get and occasionally still do get about my appearance where it's like, how is this an acceptable comment? How, in what universe is it acceptable for you to be telling another grown ass adult what decisions they should be making about what they wear or what their hair looks like? I mean... We all have access to a mirror, or at least that's like a, a basic assumption we should make about our fellow human beings, that they have access to mirrors and they can make decisions for themselves. Why are you imposing your personal taste on another individual? And it's something that Jehovah's Witnesses do an awful lot, to the point where even if I got my hair cut a little bit too short, I would get comments as a Jehovah's Witness. Oh, Lloyd, you look like a Nazi. I can remember one um, brother saying to me at one meeting, um, because I'd, I'd had my hair cut really short. And then if you, hair, if you have your hair too long, that's also a problem. And I think lots of people carry that same mentality out with them when they leave the organization. And, and that probably accounts for how many comments I've had over the years, even from ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, where they have felt entitled to tell me what I should or shouldn't do about my appearance. And I think that factors in to my decision-making or it makes me more wary about uh, what I do. It makes me a little bit paranoid. And for whatever reason, over the last year or so, with everything that's been going on um, in my personal life and everything like that, um, I've been kind of a, a bit more on a journey of self-discovery and connecting with who I am as a person. And this has expressed itself in various ways, um, I've started writing songs again, which is something I used to do as a JW, I used to write songs on my guitar. I've started doing stand-up comedy here in Zagreb, where I live. Um, and now I've dyed my hair. Oh, and I do karaoke as well. I really love doing karaoke. That's like my personal therapy. So, yeah, I guess I'm changing and... It might be that I very quickly get tired of having blonde hair and decide to go back to having brown hair, brown hair that's going slightly grey. Or it might be that I stick with this colour, who knows. But life is short and I'm just at that period in my life where I just really <laughs> could not give a great deal for 
what other people think about my appearance anymore. And if something's just going to shake things up a bit and put a smile on my face, I figure, why not? Why not give it a go? So hopefully that's given you all an opportunity to understand my reasoning, midlife crisis, um, and also comment if you want to about my appearance on my channel under an appropriate video. But please do bear in mind that whether your comments are positive or negative, I'm very likely to not give a Anyway, normal service will resume with me talking about cults and atheism and religion and Jehovah's Witnesses shortly, but that's all I have time for. Take care.